Um, let's see if we can find it. Chat, if y'all can find some great surveillance footage from that night, take off. Please, 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 please let me know. Because we want to see where this motherfucker was that night. By the way, Shakur Stevenson made his first public appearance. Remember, he was right here. Let's see. Somebody say no jumper posted. Posted what? Here we go. This is a guy. Right? So this is a guy. I know which camera angle this is. Let me find it. I know what camera angle this is. I got this. I got this. I got this chat. TMZ TikTok takeoff. Here we go. This is it right here. This is it right here. So we see takeoff. Now granted, okay, so so we got we gotta think about the plane. So, um, all right. What y'all have seen from there to there, that's the hallway. Takeoff is clearly just looking here. He's on the right. This ain't the clip, though. This ain't the clip. I know it ain't. We see Shakur. I'm trying to see if I can see the nigga. We won't see him in this clip. We won't see him in this clip. We won't see him in this clip. We're going to see him in. This is the one we're going to see him in. So that's, I, I won't say names, even though I feel like everybody knows the names. This guy has the gun out. We've talked about this many times. Okay. Not a kid. Remember, this is the bowling alley over here. This is a shooter. The nigga who killed Takeoff is right here. Okay? He's right here. Now, it's interesting to see how he moves. Because Takeoff, is, like, watch my mouse. Y'all can see my mouse right here? This is my mouse right here. Look at the mouse. Look. I'm giving you directions of people. He's right here. Quavo is right here. Takeoff is right here. The shooter is right here. He doesn't stay there, though. As shit happens, the guy with the gun who's going to be in front of us, he's going to back up, and he's going to back up in, in behind everybody else. So he's going to move from here around. It's in a circle. He's going to move from here back behind everybody else by the time the shooting comes uh, um, happens. Okay? Okay, okay. You heard that sound? Remember we were saying, was that a punch or a, was that a punch or was that a shot? By the way, here's the thing too. Remember we saw the nigga. No, we're not logging in. Remember we saw him right here. He's right here, right? Look, he's right here. He's, he's right here. You're going to realize he's backing up. Once takeoff starts walking off, he's backing up. And I'm not saying he's backing up ready to shoot, but he just probably sees some shit he's backing up. Now, let me tell you why this is going to be important. Because his case is going to be self-defense. His case is going to be like, I know what's going on. Niggas is shooting. I'm shooting back. Maybe I shot the wrong person, but I was operating self-defense. Right? Because you're not going to see him here anymore. Right? You're not going to see him here anymore. Look, because you, you can kind of see the door. Watch. 
when the camera will go down and when it comes back up, you're not going to see him, but you're going to see the door clearly. And you're going to see mad people not there. It's going to look empty. Look. Look, look, look. Look in front of the door. You see the door? Hold on. You can see the door look a little bit empty. Niggas starting to move around a little bit. You hear something. That's the guy in the white hat right here. Niggas is running back in there. Y'all just seen that? Niggas ran back in there. Look, look at this guy in the blue. He's running in there. This looks like this is a woman. The guy in the blue running in. These two people, that's the woman right there that ran in eventually. This guy, I don't know where he went. He probably went back in, I guess. Now we see the guy with the gun, which obviously makes sense because once you see the guy with the gun aiming, right, which is here, once you see him... Oh, my God. Fuck. Take it, take it. Hurt somebody. Okay, by the time you see him, the guy who's a shooter was over right here. He was right here before the motion started, which makes sense that he started to back up once people start moving around and shit started to happen. Now, granted, I don't know why he would be the person who was shooting initially. That's why I'm saying he might have a chance or he might have an argument for self-defense because it only makes sense that he's that a gun goes off. Somebody else starts shooting. He's seen multiple people shooting and he starts shooting and he probably very bad aim. He kills takeoff. Let's see. That's the guy right there. Let's see if we can find some other angles. Let's see if we can find some other angles, chat. TMZ takeoff video. Let's see if we can see it. Which angle is this? All right, we, we watched that already. Let's see. Now, in this video, in this video, takeoff is here, which means Quavo is here, and the guy who's the DJ, he's on, he's, he's probably behind this camera. He's behind this camera by where the door is. So you wouldn't see him on this camera. And we get we understand why we only see him on one camera, which means the cops probably locked him up on security off a of security camera and ballistics. Because we never see that guy take out a gun. We never actually see him once the shooting starts. Reason being anybody who was filming, he was behind everybody. They know y'all they're not gonna be disrespectful. So Quavo here. So on the behind the camera is where the is where the DJ pad is. Then we hear the sound. Then we see takeoff. What was that nigga who broke down this whole footage? And he broke it down pretty good? We looked at this shit before. Y'all remind me. There was a nigga who broke down this whole shit really well. Who's the nigga who broke this shit down really well, chat?
Leak you? Thank you, chat. Is it leak you? Yeah, it is. This is not. We see little Cam running in here. Lower. We see takeoff. We see th this guy is an alleged shooter. Let's act like we don't know who he is right now. Remember, we were counting bullets before? That's how we knew it was a third shooter. This is how we knew it was a third shooter, right? Let me go back to that TikTok video. Tick. No, 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 this ain't a video, this ain't a video. It's a, tick, it's a TikTok video. Yeah. Bullets, and he gets a lot of bullets coming back at him. He starts running. Here we go. Oh, where's the longer version of this? Because that's how, that's how we really kind of figure it out. Oh, 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 oh. It's all about counting shots. I ain't going to lie to you, unfortunately. Take off shoot. Video. I don't think it's on YouTube. Well, I thought it was, but. Thanks for joining. 20. Killed global rap scuffle starts. Then you can see that same man with that gun drawn. And you hear gunshot. Okay, okay. Shit. I got to find that longer video. TMZ should have it. Like, they put it out. TMZ take off video. Here we go. Hmm. Here we go. I think this is it. Here we go. Is it this? Okay, this way I I thought it's a longer video where we start caught with counting shots. Look. At this point, if you start counting the shots, you're gonna realize the cadence is is that two people are shooting at him or two people shooting in general, but it's not him because he starts running. Unless he's just shooting over his back. But it would have sounded louder on this video because he would have been shooting directly next to the speaker or, or, or the like microphone, I guess. Look. Bang, bang. You see? You see? see? Okay, okay. We got to remember that. It's like pow, 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 pow. That's when we hear the, 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 the next gunman shoot. Look. He started to run And you're hearing That's the same gun You're hearing it Same gun Two different guns And and the gun we're hearing Is not his Because he's near the speaker And that would sound different Yeah <laughs> 
Somebody said one nigga is shooting eighth notes, another nigga is shooting quarter notes. Nah, y'all right. We kind of figured it out before. Now, here's the thing. I'm telling you, we would... By the way, here's the funny part about it, too. Though he said, you could clearly see the weapons in a man's pockets, his hands on it. Remember, we were only focused on him. Guess where the shooter was? Right here. Is it possible that the shooter is reading, the, like, the nigga who arrested, he's reading the vibes? Oh, that nigga got a gun just out because he just had a gun right out in his hand. He's reading it, so he probably has a gun, and he's like, okay, so he has a gun out. Okay, his man's is talking crazy shit. Maybe that made him like, yo, I need to reach for my shit. Hmm. Quavo's talking the whole what? It'll be shocking to me if there's not an another arrest and it, it, um, here's the thing too. Let me just throw this in the air. Even though we've already said it a bunch of times, we already all acknowledge that there was someone shooting that came allegedly with Quavo. I think the cops are also trying to prove or trying to figure out what self-defense. If that individual does not get charged, right? Which would be this guy here. If he does not get charged, it's going to be in the assumption of the DA that this person only fired based upon someone else firing first to danger the life of either him, Quavo, Takeoff, or somebody with the Migos. Because keep it real, this guy was this guy's with the Migos right here. Everybody else is with mob ties or whatever. So I'm sure they've been talked to him by now. Man, I don't know, man. The way the cops is acting, it's like they're saying niggas is really not trying to speak. Remember, this is a bunch of street niggas. So I could imagine all these things, especially if you're connected to like Quavo and Takeoff and them, you're probably like, bruh, I don't got nothing to say. Either charge me or let me go. So nobody's trying to help the cops. 6Z, I see you. Yes, it was a headshot. The headshot killed him. But they're saying that this dude, they're saying he fired both shots that hit take. He got to be a horrible shot, or he was just trying to kill Takeo. I think he's just a horrible shot. They're saying both bullets came from his gun. Marcel says, Migo was retreating. You can't keep shooting once they flee the scene in Texas. Okay. Yo, Cloudboy Ray. Oh, shit. Cloudboy Ray still here? Yo, Cloudboy Ray's like a OG, OG of this shit. Yo, thank you for all the gifted, bro. You think he a bad shot? Nah, this whole shit is fucked, bro. All right. So I said, DJ Pat shot first. I don't think this guy shot first. I think he did a reactionary shot. However... This is why this case is, is interesting. I don't think he shot first. I think he shot back in reply. Or he heard shots. And he probably thought, well, I seen a nigga over there with a gun. Let me just shoot. And 
his shot ended up killing someone who was in the line of fire who was takeoff. Somebody said, whose camp was he from? Let's just say he's from Houston. Let's not say nobody's camp. But he's from Houston. Lil' Cam is from Houston. We haven't seen anybody not from Houston get arrested yet. So yeah, so we keep talking about some nigga who's cool with Quavo and them. That nigga from Atlanta. He ain't get arrested yet. The only people arrested is Houston people. And it's it's very like you, you gotta go back to this document. Where is it? Oh, that's a little cam shit, is it? We all you gotta see is this. Shortly after the murder, he ex he applied for a passport. Now, let me try to address some of the um cynic the cynics in here. I know some people are believing that he's a fall guy. That he's being blamed for this. Well, number one, this kind of disproves that. If you're a fall guy, you sh well, I don't know. How does this fall guy shit work? If you're a fall guy, why would a DJ who's throwing parties, living his life, be a fall guy? Does that shit still even exist? I would guess you would get like a nobody, like a fucking bum to be a fall guy. Gnak, I agree with you. Why would he run? The definition of the fall guy is for the fall guy to take the charge. Why the fuck you running? What the fuck was he going to do in Mexico? Hey, by the way, I'm going to respond to Baby J. Baby J, like, yo, what's good, bro? I'm going to act like I don't know none of this shit going on. Yo, what's good? Hold on. Where he at? Where the fuck is Baby J Prince? Don't tell me he deleted his message now. Baby J Prince. Oh, oh. Yo. Yo, if I could get Baby J Prince on the uh, on the live, who's y'all gonna talk to him? Yo, I'm gonna try to get Baby J Prince on here. If you don't know, so um, so there's like, there's Jazz Prince. He signed Drake. J Prince Jr. Who's mob ties, and then Baby J Prince, who's you know just like pretty, just a cool dude. Um. They're all the sons of J. Prince Jr., who owns rap a lot. All right. I responded to Baby J. Hmm. Chat. I need y'all I need y'all to be digging, man. I need y'all to find me some information. Some people said that um there was some information. Well, not about this. Apparently, I don't know if you, you, you have you have looked into this. MTA. 